Hello my YouTube subscribers, I'm here with another eLiquid review and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Wrath from the SNG uh, Vapors 7 line. Now as I said before, I got all these flavors for free from SNG, but that is not going to obscure my review. Uh, it is my opinion, it's my honest opinion. I'm going to try and keep it that way. So, man, let's take a look at this real quick. This is kind of a dark color. Um, and yeah, that's pretty dark. It's got kind of a reddish, amberish hue to it. Um, so, let's see how, it's, how it smells. Ooh, it smells chocolatey. It just smells chocolatey. Hmm. Right. So... To me, it smells chocolatey, and uh, that's that's the main thing I get out of it. So let's see how she vapes. Now, as I said before in all the other videos, I'm not changing the wick this time. Uh, you know, I'm running out of cotton. I just want to use the wick for this video. I'm trying to record all of these today and upload them as fast as I possibly can, but. Uh, Let's go ahead and see how Wrath vapes. I've been really wanting to vape this one. I don't know, maybe because I like the name Wrath. It's definitely got a chocolate flavor to it. Is that, is that mint? menthol I'm not sure what else is in there oh okay this has got some of that capsaicin that judgment has I'm thinking right now I actually enjoyed that <laughs> uh, cause it's it's a different kind of uh, heat than uh like cinnamon, if you've ever vaped fire and ice, uh, the, the cinnamon's really hot. Um, this has got a different kind of heat to it. Chili peppers. Ooh, ooh, that's spicy. That makes my my uh, forehead warm. Let's see what the, the description of this uh, reads. Oh man, oh man. Feuding rage of chocolate and cinnamon spite with capsaicin. I knew there was chocolate in there, I knew there was capsaicin. I can't taste the cinnamon, oh man. Now it says, if you have a chili pepper or a capsaicin sensitivity or allergy, please avoid. Um, so, uh, I would also like to point out that with like natural oils like cinnamon you might want to keep it out of any like plastic tanks that you have uh just to be on the safe side um the the natural oil can fog your your polyurethane tank or whatever plastic it is but if you got a glass or a metal uh tank that you're using or a metal rda like this uh, then go ahead and you should be safe with that i'm gonna try and taste the cinnamon in here I like this. I like this. Oh, man. I don't think this is going to be for everybody. Now, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this isn't for everybody. Uh, just because that capsaicin is really warm. It is... Uh, it's very interesting. I, I like the effect that it has. Um... So I really enjoy that. I'm having a difficult time actually tasting the, the cinnamon flavor. Um, the chocolate is, is a pretty good chocolate. 
it's kind of a nice milk chocolate. Um, yeah, it's got a really nice milk chocolate aftertaste. Uh, so um, it's it's really, uh, I would say it's a pretty good chocolate anyway. I can't for the life of me taste the cinnamon in there. I tell you what though, this is this is really good. I like this flavor. I could see me vaping on this all day. Um, maybe maybe not all day because that capsaicin would really get to me. But uh, man, I, I just like that effect. It warms my face and um, I, I feel like it makes me flush. And yeah, I just I like the effect of the capsaicin in here, so I'm enjoying this. Still, I can't for the life of me, you know, taste any of the the cinnamon. Maybe it's getting lost in there. The chocolate's good. Um, I think though that the cinnamon itself is going to add some more heat to it. Uh, when I vaped on Fire and Ice, it was really warm, and then it had that like cooling menthol effect to it. Um, so you know, it was, it was like it was warm on the inhale and then cooling on the exhale, which was uh, it was pretty interesting. Or I don't know, man. If you if you haven't tried Fire and Ice, you got to try Fire and Ice from SMG Vapor. It's really good, uh, fantastic. I'd like this. I do. Oh, boy. That's spicy hot. I like spicy things, though. So, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know, man. That I just like spicy things. I'll eat a raw jalapeno. Oh, man. So, this... This is right up my alley right here. I really like the chocolate flavor in here. I've said that a couple times now, but it's it's a good milk chocolate flavor it's pretty good um most of the milk chocolatiness comes in the aftertaste uh when you're vaping on it like in, in the exhale i i don't really taste uh a lot of the milk chocolatiness but it does there's like the uh, a powdery milk chocolate kind of like something you would get in a packet that would be on the inhale and then on the exhale uh not on not really on the exhale but on the aftertaste it kind of leaves that uh uh, that um, like I just drank a cup of milk chocolate in my mouth. So warm. I have, I have a hard time blowing this out my nose because it's going to burn my nostrils. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, that's really good. This is Wrath from Seven, and I like it. I really enjoy it. I think it, it's uh, pretty good. I can't taste the cinnamon. I suspect it's adding some warmth to it, uh, but I can't taste it. The chocolate in there is pretty good, um, and I like the capsaicin in there. I do. It's different. You might not like it. It will make your skin warm. Uh, it, you know, I think it will raise your body temperature up a little bit, but, uh, yeah, this is, this is good for me. This is probably going to stay out here with the raspberry truffle because I'm going to be vaping on that later this evening. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and click like, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, go ahead and click subscribe. Now I got one more in the seven line to review that sloth and that's coming up in the next video until then. Thank you.